Hi, this is Palne Kailash and in this video I am going to share with you a few of the basic concepts that are required to become a design engineer. Let's begin. We have two drawings here. When we present this drawing and ask what is the difference between these two drawings, 99% of the time the answer what we get out of students is that both of them are same. But in practice if you see both of them are two different drawings. So it becomes very essential and important for design engineers to identify and know the difference between dif the dimensioning units. Whenever the dimension is a whole number, we omit the decimal point and zero if it is a millimeters. We give the decimal point and a zero if it is an inch basis system. So this is the first difference between identifying a metric system and the inch basis system. Whenever the dimension is less than a millimeter, let us say that it is less than a whole number, in this case say 0.5, then we write it as a 0 0.5 which means that it is 0 0.5 millimeters. Whereas in this case we just write the decimal point and then write 5. So this is 0 0.5 inches. Then what we have is whenever it is greater than a whole number by a fraction. Let us say that this is dimension is 50.5, then it is 50.5 millimeters. Whereas in this case we write it as 50.50. So we add a zero after the decimal place which tells that it is a inch basis system. Then what we have is when it, it is a unilateral tolerance. So unilateral tolerance, we put a zero without plus or minus sign, then the tolerance value. When it is an inch basis system, we have to add a zero here, minus 0 0.0 plus 0 0.1. So this is in inch basis system. Now here, how many zeros should come is dependent upon the decimal places in the tolerance. If the tolerance is 0.15, then I have to add one zero here, one more zero here for uniformity. Next is whenever we have the dimension in the form of plus or minus tolerances, then we add a zero. Say for example, 0 0.25 minus 0 0.1 I add a 0 to make it uniform whereas in this case what will happen this will become 1 0 right now we can write this tall dimensions in the form of limit dimensions also Fifty point one. then I should not write it as 50 though it is a whole number I have to add a decimal point and zero to make it uniform if this is having two decimal then I have to add two zeros however in this case also 50.25 50.10 so two decimals one zero is added so these are the different ways by which we can differentiate between metric system and inch basis system but if you take this particular example where the dimensions are shown in the form of limit dimension, then it will become very difficult for us to identify whether it is metric system or inch basis system. In that cases, what we have to do is see the geometrical tolerances. So for ease of understanding, I just put it on this side. flatness. So here the geometrical tolerance is having a zero before the decimal point so this will become a metric system whereas in this case if I put it like this then it is inch basis system. Note the feature control frame should be on this side for here due to space restriction I am showing it on this side. 